labor delegates representing 16 million workers gather in New York for the history-making merger of the American Federation of Labor and the Congress of Industrial Organizations. The merger is the culmination of 20 years of effort. Symbolically, Walter Ruther, CIO president, and George Meany, AFL president, declare the meeting open jointly to thunderous applause. The meeting, however, reaches its climax with the nomination of officers for the new AFL-CIO organization, largest in the world. Walter Ruther nominates George Meany as president and is himself named one of the 37 vice presidents. From his Gettysburg office, President Eisenhower is among the first to congratulate the new labor body and to call its attention to the grave responsibilities it faces on the national scene. In your new national organization, as well as in your many constituent organizations, you have a great opportunity of making your meetings the world's most effective exhibit of democratic processes. In those meetings, the rights of minorities holding differing social, economic, and political views must be scrupulously protected and their views accurately reflected. In this way, as American citizens, you will help the Republic correct the faulty, fortify the good, build stoutly for the future, and reinforce the most cherished freedoms of each individual citizen.